Hi there Phil, we're here in the warehouse, uh, just now, a lonely, lonely dark place, but what are your plans for the, for the warehouse? Well, it's, um, this is the George Street premises where we proposed to site the, the Hero Centre. Um, it's a four-storey warehouse, um, it's probably one of Helensburgh's hidden gems. There is a huge volume of space here. We've just literally uh, had two very successful open days um, last weekend, the bank holiday weekend where we had um, invited the community in to come and see the space uh, for themselves. Now our plans are to install two cinema auditoriums, um, a 50s themed sort of planet Helensburgh, if you like, type diner, and across the top of the building will be a digital academy where we can train people of all ages in the arts of video and uh, latest technologies. Uh, sounds great plans. So how, how far along are you with these plans? Well, I think the big surprise for, for most people that attended at the weekend is that this project seems to have been going on for, for a long time now and it's been well publicised. And I think there was a perception that people, that people gave to us that they thought it was still a concept. Well, we've moved very, very far from a concept stage and this is a fully fledged project. We've got uh, six ambassadors involved, a project team of nine, and we are absolutely uh, working through a project plan at the moment. So um, we know how much exactly right down to the crew in the diners the project's going to cost. It's going to be about £2.3 million pounds, and we've actually got three very, very large um, applications for funding currently going through the process and uh, you know, fingers crossed that we're successful. But if everything comes to fruition um, as, as we would hope it, uh, it will, um, we'd be looking for opening this uh, facility sometime next summer. Oh, great. So were a lot of people surprised when they were at the Open Day? Did they, were they impressed with the plans? I think so. I, I think the thing that um, really caught the imagination was um, the, the, the fact that this will be a multi-purpose facility within, within one building, if you like. We'll have cinema, we'll have somewhere where people can come in and, and learn about technology. We'll have the uh, fantastic Hall of Fame with our memorabilia that we've collected over the last sort of five years. Um, we'll be um, obviously... Um, enabling people to just come in and it will become a social hub. Um, it's interesting, over the last two years we've built up a, a real collection of data from surveys uh, from various aspects of the community and I think the thing that really strikes us as a project team is that the, the sort of the issues that were raised over two years ago are still being raised today. We still have nowhere where our young people can congregate. Um, we still have to you know, get in a car or get on a train to get to the cinema. Um, we still don't really celebrate the, uh, the, 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 the local heroes that have come from the area. Um, so all of those aspects, um, you know, Scotland's not exactly known for its uh, tropical climate uh, and so having somewhere indoors and dry that people can go during wet weather would, would be perfect. So ev everything seems to be coming, uh, uh, coming to, together uh, in a point at once. So obviously one of the things that uh, many people who come and see us um, over the weekend and uh, via, via the internet say, you know, how can they get involved if they want this project to happen and they want to help us deliver it? Um, you know, we're quite often asked, what can I do? Well, we've got several things. We can, you can buy a brick, you can sponsor a seat, you can become a patron, or you can donate using Virgin Money, just text giving or eBay. You just need to search for Helens for Heroes or any of those. But um, what I would strongly advise is people to go to the website, herocentre.co.uk, where not only will you find the latest plans, you'll find video about what we want to do, you can find out how we would like you to get involved, but more importantly, you'll get to see all of the inductees of the Hall of Fame. And we've got over 100 inspirational men and women on the website, and believe me, some of their stories are just truly amazing. So please, come to our heroes at the Hero Centre.